Welcome to this video tutorial on how to configure an AWS Lambda policy within a Gravity API. For a more in-depth article on working with serverless functions with Gravity, as well as the function code used in this video, please refer to the link in the description below. In this video, we will explore an example where the AWS Lambda policy allows our API flow to gain additional context on the API call being executed. Today, companies are required to provide more context-aware content for their customers. With more regional data regulation requirements and with customers expecting more personalized content, understanding the context of an API call can become valuable. We will create an API that only accepts and forward requests to the backend server if the clients are located in certain countries. Furthermore, we will only accept requests from a list of approved browsers, potentially restricting calls from bots and applications. To understand the client's country and browser, we will use an AWS Lambda policy. Gravity will pass the IP address and user agent information that is extracted from the requests. The AWS Lambda function code will use third-party libraries to retrieve the country and name of the browser for the information passed by Gravity. The returned country and browser name will then be used in a subsequent validate request policy to check the country and browser against a defined list of approved values. In the Gravity API management components, we will start by creating a new API. For this video, we will be using the latest Design Studio option to create our API. We will give our API a name, a version, and a description. The context path is the relative URL which needs to be used to call this specific API on the gateway. The backend service will be called if our API has validated the request successfully. In this video, we'll just use a mock backend service that returns the IP of the caller. We need at least one plan in order for clients to call our API. In this demonstration, we will create a public plan that does not require any authentication. We'll skip the documentation part of our API and we'll finally create and start our new API. The API has now been created and is already accepting calls that will be routed to our backend service. Now we need to design the API so that it first validates the browser and country of the request before it routes the request to the backend service. To do this, we will use a single flow that will be applied to any request done on the public plan. We'll give the flow a name and leave the default settings to have the flow being invoked on any calls to our API. For our flow, we will start with an AWS Lambda policy for the request. This policy will extract the request country and browser from the information in the headers and context information. An AWS Lambda function already exists and we just need to provide our AWS specific region, access key, secret key and the name of the function. To have the AWS Lambda function being able to extract the browser and country, we need to pass parameters to the function using the expression language of gravity. The IP address will be given by the user ID attribute and the browser by the user agent header. To allow a subsequent validate request policy to check the browser and country, we want to save down the response of our AWS Lambda policy to context variables. One for country, and one for browser. We'll now save the AWS Lambda policy and drop a validate request policy to our request flow, which will be executed after our Lambda policy. The validate request policy will check the extracted country and browser values against a list of approved countries and browsers. 
If it can't find a match, it will return a 400 bad request status code. Our first rule will use expression language to extract the country variable that we defined in our Lambda policy. We will match the value against an enumerated list of parameters, UK for United Kingdom and FR for France. If the rule fails, we will return a message to the client. Our second rule will extract the browser variable and match it against the values. Chrome and Firefox. Similarly, we will be defining a message back to the client in case the rule fails. We'll save our policy, as well as all changes made to the design of our API. We'll then deploy the changes to the gateway. If this API was to be made available to a developer portal, we would need to publish the API before users could find it. Finally, to simulate the flow of our API, we will be calling the API from a Safari browser in a country outside of France and the United Kingdom. We'll now get a 400 bad request response detailing that we are using a country and browser that are not permitted. For more details around serverless use cases with Gravity, please refer to the article in the description below. Thanks for watching.